Welcome to Solid Camp Professor on our series of Jumpstart, the easy way to get yourself up to speed in Solid Camp. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, and in this session, we'll be doing part seven of lesson one. Now that our pocket is complete, we can move on to drilling the holes in the face of our part. Once again, we can right click in our cam manager and select drilling. The workflow of setting up drilling operations is very similar to our previous operations, and we will start by defining our geometry. When defining geometry in a drilling operation, SolidCam can automatically pick up the center of the holes simply by selecting the face the holes reside on. We can first choose multi positions under Select Centers By, then select the face the holes are located on, and we can see SolidCam has found all four holes. Also, if we scroll to the bottom of our geometry selection dialog, we can see four selected holes along with our respective XY coordinates. We can now accept our geometry by clicking on the green check. We can now define our tool. Click on the Select button, then choose Add. We can add a drill by highlighting our drill option. The only field we will be changing is the diameter, and we will set it at 5 millimeters. We can accept our tool by clicking on Select at the bottom of our tool definition dialog. Our levels will be chosen in the same manner as our previous operations. We will leave our upper level at 0. Then select Drill Depth and choose the face of our model that represents our drill depth. Please note our depth type options. If we leave it set at cutter tip, the tip of our drill will come to our 10 millimeter depth. If we choose full diameter, SolidCam will ensure our 5 millimeter hole diameter is maintained at our 10 millimeter depth. We will be using full diameter for this example. Next, we can move to our technology dialog. Clicking on drill cycle type will allow us to select what type of drill cycle we would like to use. We have quite a few options in here, such as drilling, pecking, boring, and tapping. For this example, we'll use our standard drilling option. From this point, all we need to do is save and calculate, and that completes the definition of our drilling operation. This concludes part seven of our first lesson in our series of Jumpstart. Thank you for joining us on SolidCam Professor. Take care and have a nice day.